Japanese officials are taking action to deal with a problem an ocean away. 1.5 million tons of debris generated by last year's tsunami is making its way across the Pacific. Some of it has already washed ashore in North America. The Japanese government is sending experts to the United States to gauge the situation. Japan has been receiving generous assistance from many countries since the disaster, and we've been working hard on the recovery. It's important that we address the issue of floating debris in the Pacific Ocean. Experts from a Tokyo-based NGO specializing in ocean waste will head to the U.S. next month. There are no international conventions governing this type of issue, meaning Japan isn't obliged to clean up the debris on the other side of the Pacific. But its leaders have said they're ready to help areas confronting this problem. Japanese and U.S. officials plan to exchange information on floating debris created by last year's massive tsunami. The debris is now turning up along the North American west coast after drifting across the Pacific. The Japanese government estimates that around 1.5 million tons of debris is now drifting in the Pacific. Officials are scheduled to hold talks in Seattle on Monday and discuss how to deal with all the debris. Some of the debris has already washed up on the U.S. and Canadian coast. Much more is expected to arrive soon. Japanese officials plan to explain that much of the wreckage of houses swept away by the tsunami is likely to reach the U.S. coast in October. The officials of the two countries hope to discuss who will bear the cost of disposal, as well as whether Japan will send workers to help with retrieval efforts. Getting rid of the massive amounts of debris from last year's disaster has been a big headache for the Japanese government. Wednesday marks 16 months, but Environment Minister Goshi Hosono says only one-fifth of the rubble has been dealt with. Hosono told reporters that as of the end of June, about 3.82 million tons, just 20 percent of the wreckage from the three most affected prefectures, had been incinerated, buried or recycled. Ministry officials estimate the disaster left some 19 million tons of debris in the three prefectures. Iwate had 5 million tons, Miyagi over 11 million tons, and Fukushima some 2 million tons. There are no plans yet for non-burnable waste from Iwate and burnable debris from Miyagi. We want to make a plan as quickly as possible. The government has set March 2014 as the target date to complete the disposal.